Probably the most intriguing and fascinating thing about Chinese export for many people is the way it mixes two completely different cultures, East and West. You have the skills and the fabulous taste of the Chinese potters and the Chinese enamelers. And then you have the Westerners who deeply appreciated this material and commissioned very special things to their taste. It's a wonderful melding of cultures and peoples who are so different and so far apart in so many other ways. Chinese export porcelain is porcelain ware that was made in China specifically to be exported to Europe and much later to America. Of course, in Europe and the Western world, we only had clay pottery until about the 17-teens or 1720s. Nobody knew how to make true, hard-paste, fine, white porcelain. Only the Chinese, who had been making it for hundreds of years already. Tibor Collection is an extraordinary private collection of Chinese export porcelain. The wonderful thing about it for me is the way it particularly reflects a very special taste in Chinese export, the taste of New Spain and of Spain in the China trade period. The Spanish were in the Americas from about 1520 until about 1820. Of course, it began with conquest and it ended in revolution, but for the wealthy, for the well-placed, certainly a love of Chinese luxury goods was a very exalted part of the taste of the New Spain period. In fact, we called this collection the Tibor Collection because Tibor is large jar in Spanish and Tibores were particularly loved in New Spain and Spain. Dining in wealthy households of the 18th century was a very lavish experience. Cuisine developed a lot in the 18th century. It was the first time people went to covered terrines because of the different dishes that were served. And when you bring a big bird or fish form tureen into the dining room, the hot dish inside would send steam out of the mouth. So this would make quite an impressive moment for your dinner table. These are two of 19 soldier vases in this collection. I think it's probably the largest group of these monumental jars and covers to be sold since James Christie began his auctions in 1766. Most of the soldier vases are 1730s, 1740s, 1750s in the collection. So really the height of Chinese export porcelain. One of my very favorite pieces in the European subject group in this collection is this fantastic hunting bowl. I love the way you walk up to it and you see the Chinese tiger hunt, which is in itself a fantastic subject. And then you look inside and you have this incredible surprise of an English fox hunt galloping across the interior. So you see here a very human side of the China trade and of Chinese export porcelain and how East and West are communicating from two very, very different parts of the world coming together over love of porcelain. It really is the story of Chinese export porcelain right here in this piece.